Hey guys, I'm just going to record a quick video on how to set up a static body and rigid body in the scene so you can get a bit of an idea on how they work. This is the finished, what the scene will look like at the end. I'll just run it. So the ball falls down into this half pipe thing and then rolls around like that. Alright, so I'll just close this. So I open up a new scene, fresh like this, and go to 2D. And then over here, press the create node button and add in a node 2D. This is pretty much the node that you will always put in the first place, or I always have, and rename it game. And now for the next node, you need two different ones. You need a rigid body 2D and also a static body 2D. Wait, no, that's the 3D one. The 2D ones are blue. And then with those there, you need sprites for both of them. And the sprites, I'll have links in the description and also on my website under this video. So to get, you can download them. I just made these in GIMP in a couple of seconds. They're not really that hard. So add in some sprites under this. And then texture, load. For the rigid body, you want the player.png, add that in. And then the static body, add in another sprite texture load this is the half pipe dot png and then grab these by the um top nodes here and make sure you don't move them by the sprite because that'll mess things up to so make sure change into this uh this move mode and with this you only ever move the node that is selected from here so you can really grab it from anywhere and move it wherever you want so click here move this one down to here and move the rigid body 2D right above it here and now they're in place you need to add the colliders so Godot knows how big they are and where they should like collide so to do that so with the rigid body 2D selected type collision this one you need a collision shape 2D and that will give you a list of different shapes you can use to make a collider so go where it says null here click down and go circle shape and that'll give you a basic circle here, but it's not the right size. So to edit the size of that, don't use the scale here, because I think that breaks it or something. Click on this arrow here, and here use the radius. This sprite I think is 25. Yep. And then move that into place right over the circle. And then that's the, that collider done. And now for the static body. There is no basic shape for this, so you have to create your own. So use Collision Polygon 2, and that lets you create your own collider. So with the pen tool here selected, just zoom in, and then click on all of the points to get this line around it. The more closer you put these ones in, the more detailed it'll be. So if I put them in really close like that, it'll take up more processing power, but it'll work better. So just do them as far or close as you want. And then around here, because nothing's going to be colliding, you don't really need to do that very detailed at all, because nothing's going to touch that. And then you have this. So now if you run the scene, uh, make sure you save it. Here. And now if you run it with this button here, it will work, except it won't really roll anywhere. It'll just slow down to a stop. So to change that, go over to the rigid body here and change the mass. You can play around this with this, it sort of changes how fast it moves and how it's affected by gravity and things. I did 500, that seemed to work quite well. So now when you drop it, it'll roll up and down the little half pipe thing fine. Alright, so that's all there really is to it. I'll probably do another video on kinematic bodies later. See you then.